festival for the past 32 years. Though it burned to the ground last May, the town is continuing this important tradition. It's new tonight at 10. Fox 66's Saida Abbas was there to learn more. Saida. Jill, in the past seven years, over 500,000 people have gathered at Cambridge Springs to experience this one-of-a-kind musical festival. Roger Shoon is attending the Cambridge Music Festival for the second time, but this year is much different than last year since the Riverside Inn is no longer standing. The area is tapered off as far as having much success, but it seems like in the music business they've done a lot. And I think the more they could get going and, and the faster they could get this running, the uh, more maybe they could become a little Detroit or Nashville. Or at 5 o'clock, at least 1,200 people were already at the festival. Organizers are expecting about five to 10,000 people at the event. With over 70 performances, workshops, demonstrations, and games, there's something to do here for just about everybody. Known for their briskets, pulled pork, and nachos, Mr. Woody's Smoke and Barbecue was one of the vendors at the event. It's, a, it's really exciting. Um, Riverside was really close to everyone's heart here in Cambridge Springs. Um, so this is this is exciting and yeah I'm, I feel great grateful to be a part of the first annual music festival there is absolutely no charge in attending this musical experience throughout the town and our fire department felt horrible about not being able to save the iconic lady so we thought you know what if, if we couldn't save her let's save the music so we went to the owners at the time Michael and Marie Halliday and they granted us permission to take over the music festival all the funds collected from the festival will go to the Cambridge Springs Fire Department. The event will also be held tomorrow, noon to 11 p.m., and Sunday, noon to 4 p.m. Back to you, Jill. Thanks, Aida.